how's the feeling in the squad? Yeah, really good. I think um, we're just hopeful the weather holds off for us, but certainly looking forward to getting out here. It's a great spot. It's a pretty impressive university and the grounds are magnificent. And we've had some poor weather here of late, so yeah, it'd be nice to get out and about and bowl some balls. Yeah, what's the main goal for today's session? Oh, I just sort of get a bit of the rust out. We've uh, obviously had a really good preparation leading in, but um, just getting acclimatised to these conditions. Um, just It's just a different vibe, isn't it, when you get over here in England? And there's plenty of good cricket going on at the moment with the World Cup and uh, both our A teams over here as well. So it's sort of like cricket mecca at the moment, and it's nice to be here. Yeah, this must be a bit different to what you guys had in Brizzy last week. Yeah, it was. I mean, Brisbane, it's the best time of the year, so uh, our preparation's been excellent. and. Um, yeah, we're really excited about the opportunity to come here, play a couple of games against the, the England um, second team basically and see how we get along. What is the priority for you guys to get out of these two warm ups this week? Oh, not a lot really, we just it's just practice matches really, so time in the middle for the batters, just um, getting used to the slightly different bounce, a uh, little bit of swing and the bowlers just getting some miles in the legs and getting ready. Um, yeah, it's all about uh, that first game up in Leicester. Was there anyone who really stood out to you last week in Brisbane that you were uh, impressed with? I was really pleased for Nick Bolton that she, she came out in that second innings, got some runs. Uh, she's been out of the team for a little while and got a first baller in the first game. So like any batter, you start to question your preparation, but she batted really well in that game. But across the board, everyone did a little bit of something. Uh, Georgia Wareham bowled really well, which was good to see. I think she's going to be a key player over here uh, on these wickets. I think she could be a real menace for the English batters. Um, and our, all our stats say that as well. So it's exciting to be able to unleash her on England. Yeah, what is it about her that you think could trouble England? Uh, just that she turns the ball away and, and she asks a question both sides of the bat, which is what we've asked for. Uh, so in all three formats, I think she asks a really strong question of the batters all the time. She doesn't bowl any bad balls and um, you know she just gets into her work and pretty non fuss cricketer and, and gets the job done. And does Bolts just slip straight back in at the top of the order or is, does she have to prove a case after missing that last series? Oh, we've got a few things to manage through. Obviously a couple of big games for a few players, but um, her record over a long period of time is outstanding. I think she averages 44 in international cricket one day. She's a, she's a match winner, she's made hundreds and she's really evolved in the last couple of years. So all the things that we've asked for her to do, she's done. And um, as I said, with that 70 the other day, that'll give her plenty of confidence being back in around the group. And you're expecting England to come in extra fired up given the World T20 final last year and the last Ashes result? Yeah, I don't think they need much motivation. I think it's two great teams going head to head. I think they've won 14 games in a row, so they'll be chock full of confidence. Um, we've had a really good 12 months, and so two of the best teams in the world going head to head. So you don't need much more motivation for that. But being over here, as I said, it's a special summer. I think everyone's earmarked this in the calendar for a while, and uh, we just hope to start well in Leicester and carry that momentum forward. Have you watched much of the England Windy series? Little bits, yeah. It's obviously difficult um, to, to get too much stuff out of that, but uh, you know, the West Indies obviously haven't haven't really fired a shot. So um, yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting. I suppose we've got a couple of games to go to watch a bit of that. But more importantly, it's about what we do to prepare and get ready for this series. We've had a really good break. I think um, it was the break that we needed to have. We had a huge 12 months of cricket, um, and we've got another big 10 to 12 months coming up as well. So uh, we're refreshed and ready to go. How much of a motivating factor is the fact that we retained last time whereas instead of winning outright? Yeah, it's a huge factor. I think um, you know, we, everyone in that team felt a bit of a bitter taste at the end of that series. I think we'd done the hard work and just took the foot off the throat, which we, we talk a lot about finishing teams off. And It really has been a motivating factor for the last 12 months how we've played the games. I think in all the series that we've played since, we've, you know, the intensity on the last day of the series has been as good as the first. So uh, it has been a huge factor. I think. Um, in our minds, one of the themes is sort of a bit of unfinished business. I think um, we're happy to obviously hold the Ashes, but we want to come over in here and win the Ashes this time. I think we've seen some pretty big totals scored over here by England swimming the last few years and some odd shaped grounds. How much of a focus is that going to be for the team getting ready for those sorts of short boundaries potentially? Yeah, it is. It's a different game over here. We play on bigger grounds and um, we obviously understand our own conditions. But the beauty of our players have played here quite a bit. Um, a few have played county cricket over here and a lot have played KSL. So they understand the nuances of each ground. And something we've done a lot in our preparation is, is going through and getting the stats on each ground, um, comparing the past scores and how we're going to adapt our game to that. So uh, each ground is so different and it can can depend on what side of the ground you're on. If, if you're on one side of the square from day to day, it can make a huge difference. So just being really clear in our plans where we're going to target as a batting group and where we need to defend as a bowling group will be a big part of winning the series. And with Ozay here too, is there an opportunity for some of those girls to come into the test squad or the T20 squad further along? 
yeah, it's uh, it's created a really unique opportunity for us to to play alongside each other and um, give our players some opportunities to get back and get some game time as well. So we're really excited. Leah Poulton is obviously a um, fantastic coach and we're going to work um, sort of together to just make sure that we maximise uh, game time for everyone. Um, and it gives everyone a, a chance that rather than sitting on the pine and watching, that if, if they can get some games in, that's great. But also it's an added incentive for the A players as well. They, um, they know that we've got the opportunity to add an extra player in um, late around the test match so that 15th player if someone's doing knocking the door down in the, the A team they've got the opportunity to come into the squad.